finally, 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 we get to see the, at least the full cast of uh, J5, Jackson 5. So, stay tuned. What's up, good peoples? Um, I'm back. And as I stated, as I said, um, we do have some more news about the Michael Jackson uh, biopic. Um, so this time, um, I believe today, they announced um, the rest of the cast for a uh, biopic. And uh, we got um, we got the, um, the guys that's going to be playing the uh, Jackson 5. So we're going to get to it. Let me show y'all. Um, so y'all can see. There you have it. There you have it. Hold on. Let me move this out the way. Okay, there we go. There, there you have it. So these are the uh the young men who's playing um the Jackson Five. So of course we got right here we got we got Jermaine. So in in total it's 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 eight. Okay, it's um we got eight um new cast members and they're going to be playing the younger versions and the older versions of uh, the brothers so um we got um jermaine we got marlon we got tito and then we have jackie so these are the guys that will be playing the jackson five um and let me just read their name the, the, the names off uh from uh top row from left to right we have younger jermaine played by Jaden uh harville we have uh, Younger Marlon, played by Jalen Linden, uh, Jalen Linden Hunter. Then we have Younger Tito, played by Judah Edwards, and Younger Jackie, played by Nathaniel Logan. Uh, is that McIntyre? So those are the top. Uh, so those are the younger um, um, uh, members of the Jackson Five. And then at the bottom we have the older. So at the bottom we have. Uh, Jermaine, played by Jamar Henderson. Marlon, played by uh, Trey Horton. Tito, played by is that Ryan, Ryan Hill. And Jackie, played by Joseph David Jones. So, guys, what you think? Uh, me, personally, um, I can see... I can see some of the similar... Uh, some, of, some of the similarities. I can see... Uh, I can see, honestly, more so I can see the bottom... As the older um, Jackson, so I can I can definitely see uh, Marlon. I can see him playing Marlon, especially if they get Marlon. They give him like a little mini uh, uh, mustache for sure, like doing like the uh, um, the Jackson Five Triumph or the Victory uh, Tour days. I can I can see all that. Um, I can see uh, the guy playing Jackie. I can see Jackie, and I can also see Jermaine. I can somewhat see uh, Tito, but listen. With the camera and with the uh, the makeup and everything, I'm pretty sure um, it's gonna look different uh, when we go see it at the movies. So, yeah, this I mean, listen. Thus far, I'm not I'm not mad at any of the casting. Honestly, I'm not mad at Neil Long playing Catherine. I'm not mad at uh, Domingo Coleman playing um, Joseph. I'm not mad at all. Um, I want to see um, who who. who you know, I came in to see who they're going to cast to play uh, Janet, you know. Um, I seen online people were trying to get, um, I guess they were trying to get them to cast uh, Haley. Is that Haley Bailey? Is it Holly, ba Holly Bailey? Haley Bailey? Um, to play uh, Janet. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, but like I said, guys, this is looking good. I'm going to read what some of Deadline has to say, too. It said, Lionsgate and Universal Pictures International have announced that eight actors set to play, I'm sorry, to, to portray members of the Jackson 5. We got Jermaine, Marlon, Tito, and Jackie at various stages of their lives in the Michael Jackson uh, biopic, Michael. Um, Jamar R. Henderson, Jaden Harville will play the respective older and younger versions of Jermaine Jackson. We have Trey Horton and Jalen Linden, Hunger, will play Marlon. Ryan Hill and Judah Edwards, Artito and Joseph David Jones and Nathaniel Logan McIntyre have been cast as Jackie. So again, guys, there you have it. This is 
the J5, or right now the J4, but with Michael added the J5. So, what's y'all think? I, I I think it's uh shaping up to be a good movie. And again, I know people, you know, whenever you're dealing with um, biopics and you're dealing with um, fan favorites of some of these um, legends that are portrayed in these movies, you're going to have the people... You're gonna have um, the ones that's kind of scared and and doubtful that the movie's good, but listen, the movie is being shot. You gotta keep hope, you gotta keep faith, and you gotta trust in the whole process. Now, I'm not gonna lie, certain movies, before it even came out, I was kind of scared. Like, I, I'm gonna be real. When Tupac, um, when the Tupac biopic was announced, I was excited because Tupac is, is one of my favorite um, rappers. And then when they uh, uh, did the casting and, and we seen who's playing Tupac, I'm like, okay, he looks like Tupac. But when they start going through development hell and every single director that they would get, um, respected director they would get was leaving the project, then I got a little scared because you, 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 went from, you had John Singleton, you had Antoine Fuqua, and you had one more guy. I can't, I can't think of his name. Um, but all these guys, the three of his name, were all respected directors. They had um, good movies under their belt. But when they left the project, it had me wondering, like, okay, why they leaving? Um, so, you know, um, no shade to Benny Boom. I think Benny Boom is a fan fantastic uh, director in the movies. I mean, I'm sorry, in music. I don't think he was ready to tackle me personally. I don't think he was ready ready to tackle uh, um, a movie as big as a Tupac biopic. But you know they did what they did. The movie didn't come out as as good as I would have liked it. But you know it is what it is. But with this movie, with uh, the Michael biopic, Antoine Fuqua. If you notice, if you watch my videos and. You see me already saying, I believe in Antoine. Listen, Antoine is a good director. I mean, he did Training Day. Um, he did the Equalizer movies. I just watched Emancipation with Will Smith. To me, I, I, I'm not sure how um, the critics felt about it, but to me, it was a good movie. So I have faith in this movie. Um, the casting looks uh, good, honestly. Um, and again, you know, how close are they going to get? They can't get the actual Jack. I mean, they can get the Jacksons, but, you know, you're talking about 60, 70 year old men now. So, I mean, how close can they get? I feel, I feel like they're getting close enough. And again, with the power of makeup and everything and movie magic and post production, I believe this movie's going to be good. So, uh, I feel good about it, man. I, I, I like the casting for the Jackson 5. Um, and I like the casting who's playing um, for um, Catherine and Joseph. So I think that we're gonna we're gonna get a good movie. Um, so I mean, you know, we're gonna stay tuned. I'm sure they're gonna have some more news for us. And of course, when they give it to me, I'm gonna give it to y'all. All right. So that's all I got right now. Um, again, let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Also, make sure y'all y'all like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit that notification button because that do that does help my videos and. Till next time, I'll see y'all soon, all right? Peace.